I been the type of guy she likes since middle school Never thought that I'd get famous, always know that I'd be cool Could've been fucked no shawty, I just didn't wanna be rude Every young take diamonds, only the finest for your jewels Am I hitting them be shy, I don't know, put cameras on my crew Ain't doing too bad, I'm somebody you can Google me Ain't never worried about what they say that they gon' do to me I just put in overtime, I'm doing numbers like it's two of me That was back then, time changed, it's a new of me Money conversations Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the real Unjanae, but you already knew that before you clicked the video, period. What do you I am going to be doing a little something different. This is not a sad video. So please don't think that this is a sad video. There's nothing sad about being single. But, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Why you don't got no man or uh, niggas will be like, you know, you, you look good, you this, you that. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you all this and you ain't got no nigga? Like, what's wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Something wrong with you niggas. It's going to be giving you guys reasons why I'm single. Random video, just random, whatever. But I, I guess maybe somebody can relate to me or maybe somebody can feel what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And... Okay, whatever let we just gonna get right into the video and we're gonna start this joint and we're gonna get it popping period okay so the first reason why i'm single which is probably the overall reason is because i don't want a relationship right now i just feel like it's way too much work it's way too much energy it's way too much stress like i go to sleep perfectly fine knowing that Ain't none of these niggas in these streets belonging to me. None of these niggas belong to me. Ain't nobody out here doing this to me. Ain't nobody doing I ain't got to worry about none of that. You know what I'm saying? And it could be just because I haven't met the right person to where I feel like love is simple and it's uncomplicated and all these other things and all these fairy tales that people be talking about, whatever. I've been in relationships my whole life. And y'all may think I'm over-exaggerating, but if you know me for real, you know I've been in relationships my whole life like i had a boyfriend oh i think i met him when i was like 12 and we were often off and on for years like years and then i had a boyfriend from eighth grade to the beginning of 11th grade i had a boyfriend 12th grade and that which turned into like a situationship for three years and like, that just got done this year so i've definitely been in relationships my whole life so that's why i feel like i'm kind of like drained to it and i'm kind of like over it you know what i'm saying because that's not really me like i am a relationship girl that's just me like i'm not really the one to i don't know just talk and like go on dates and like that's just not me i feel like a relationship i feel like oh, i'm a hopeless romantic like what is life if you don't have love you know what i'm saying but you don't need it all the time you don't love doesn't have to come from a man all the time you know what i'm saying it can definitely come from within yourself and all the extra stuff but that's stuff that i know now because then i was like baby i gotta have a man like i i can't be out here manless like <laughs> you tripping oh so i've been in relationships my whole life and that's why i feel like now that i'm I'm letting you know that stuff go everything go like I don't have it's nobody to run back to it's no exes to run back to it's no situationships I'm not talking to nobody like that you know I just don't want the responsibility I don't I don't want none of that cuz ooh baby this is like I don't have time you know what I'm saying like no going into speaking of being in relationships my whole life and don't know I don't know how to date and all these extra things goes into the second reason <laughs> why I am single is because I don't know how to date like a lot of my friends and people I know like they'll talk to different people and they'll go on dates and all this of course I can't go on no dates right now because like we quarantine and corona she just decided to pull up on everybody even before like the little t the little times that i were that i was single that i considered myself single 
but I wasn't acting single. Uh, only a few people will catch that. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you say, oh, I'm single, da, 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 but you still messing with that nigga. You single, but you ain't acting single. So, I just feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to date. Like, I'm not the type of person to talk to multiple people at one time. Talk to multiple dudes at one, uh, one time. And I applaud any girl who can do that. It's just me. I this this stuff is new to me. It's new to me. Like it's for it's foreign language, and so I have a, a hard time kinda when it comes to talking to different dudes at one time. I just feel like I can't do it. Like I feel like, of course I have no loyalty no loyalty to these niggas. These niggas don't. I don't owe no loyalty to nobody. These these niggas don't belong to me, and I don't belong to these niggas. But it just feels so wrong. I don't know. It just feels so wrong. When I'm talking to somebody and then like if I was to be talking to, to like Jimmy and, and, and Steve and Carl like it's just like ah, it's too much. And the person that I am, I'm a good girl. I am. I'm a good girl. And so if I'm talking to somebody and I like them, I like them. Like if I like you, I like you. I'm good. I'm going to give you my undivided attention my my time all of that i wouldn't say i like people quickly but i do like people before they like me because i'll be talking to them just them you know what i'm saying and they talking to me and a whole bunch of other people and so i don't give myself the opportunity to weigh out my options you know what i'm saying but they're giving themselves that opportunity you know what i'm saying so then it becomes a situation where you have all my attention you know what i'm saying you have all my attention you have all my time I like you at this point like I like you and that's not everybody because I don't like I don't just look like no anybody I probably like a nigga every other year like for real talking to me Sally Keisha you know everybody else and so it's not really like a one-on-one -on -one thing you know and I don't like that <laughs> that's why I don't know how to date like I don't I don't feel like anybody owes me their loyalty but I just feel like if I'm talking to somebody I don't want you talking to them. I want you to just talk to me. You know what I'm saying? That could be a relationship thing. But we don't have to be in a relationship. I promise you I don't want a relationship. The most that I would want right now is somebody to just like have fun with. Somebody to go on dates with and just like, you know, that connection be there. But the titles and stuff can wait. Like if a relationship comes out of that, it comes naturally. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to force anything because a lot of the times, um back then i used to force and i used to be like nigga do not seem to be talking to her, her, her like either you gonna be my boyfriend or i'm not gonna fuck with you like <laughs> i'm not gonna fuck with you that was my mentality then you know but now i feel like i've matured more and i've gone through a little bit you know i ain't going through everything but I've been through a couple of things and i felt a couple of ways and now i feel like i'm more mature enough to be like this is me you know what i'm saying and niggas don't know how to accept that that's another reason why i'm single somebody once told me like nobody wants a wife at the time i was like 19 18 whatever but i'm 20 now so nobody wants a wife at 19 18 20 nobody wants a wife in their in their young years their teens whatever and so when i was told that i was like damn okay like it made me feel some type of way about myself like I'm too good of I'm too good of a girl or I'm too loyal and I'm too this and I'm too that and back then it used to hurt my feelings and I would feel like I can't be myself you know what I'm saying I have to be somebody that I'm not for a nigga to fuck with me you know what I'm saying and that's not no like if you're a girl or a female or whatever and you're like me and you don't really be in the mix like that you don't be in the mix like that you know you, do your school work and you just beautiful as ever and you don't really talk to dudes like that I don't know it's like niggas judge you for being a good girl but then when you having a hot girl summer they judge you for that too so it's like you can't win you know what I'm saying but like I said now that I'm more mature I just take it as you niggas can't handle me that's just what it is you can't handle me like when niggas know the type of female that you are i feel like niggas get intimidated like i feel like they feel hell no like you know what i'm saying like she applying that pressure like she she that pressure like i gotta 
you know they don't want all that they don't want all that type of, they don't want that type of pressure they don't want that type of responsibility none of that so they rather just go get somebody that's easy to fuck with than you know jump hop and skip to to get you you know what i'm saying and that's fine because i want the nigga that's gonna jump hop and skip nothing comes easy these niggas want somebody who's gonna be the good girl while they be you know doing them and she's gonna stick around and da 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 no in there done that am i doing that shit so i feel like i'm not gonna change my character for you to fuck with me that's just a no-go for me that's just a no-go maybe you should have caught me back then but right now that's a no-go for me i'm gonna be who i am i'm gonna be the good girl that i am i'm gonna fuck with you and only you you know what i'm saying and and, and it's up to to me really because you never never give no nigga the power to on and off shit you know what i'm saying i got the upper hand but i got to say so with whether this is gonna continue or whether it's gonna stop you know what i'm saying so i don't have to stop being the good girl that I am. I don't have to stop being loyal when I'm talking to somebody. I don't have to stop doing nothing. There's nothing wrong with me at all. You know, I used to think, oh, something's wrong with me. I'm too nice. I'm too this. No, there's nothing wrong with me. It's something wrong with you niggas. It's something wrong with you niggas. You can't handle the woman that I am. So you're intimidated and you rather go get you a hoe. Fine. That's fine with me. That's fine with me because every nigga on this earth is not like that. There is a nigga somewhere in this world that is going to appreciate the person that you are and is going to respect it period i don't blame myself for nothing i don't blame myself for being me you know what i'm saying i used to i don't dog myself out for that no more because it's just like if you can't take me for me if you can't be with me for me if you can't fuck with me just how i am you're not for me you're not for me there's nothing i can do for you like there's nothing we can talk about period because i mean at the end of the day they always come back that's just what it is either a nigga that i've talked to or anything niggas always come back niggas gonna go out here <laughs> and be like damn these these bitches ain't shit <laughs> These females is dirt. I'm finna go holler at old girl who was having it. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. So, no, I, yeah, I don't know how to date. And so I just leave it where it's at. This is for the birds. But I'll learn. You know, I'll, I'll learn. I'll, I'll get the hang of it. I'm sure it's not that hard. If it's that hard, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Keep it. So another reason why I am single is because I have heard that my standards are considered too high. Let me tell you something. I have confidence. I'm not cocky, but my confidence is, is, is pretty up there. You know what I'm saying? My confidence hasn't always been there. You know, I've been in relationships and nigga made me feel like everything that I did was never good enough. And you know, it just ma it just make you feel so low about yourself. And so when you don't have that type of energy in your life anymore and you're kind of like focusing on yourself and you hang with yourself, like fuck with yourself for real, like for real, learn yourself, all of that. And you'd be like, I'm kind of that, that bitch, you know, like I'm kind of that. And so I feel like I've gotten to that point. My confidence is up there. You know what I'm saying? Of course I have insecurities every once in a while. Who don't? Who don't? So I feel like if I'm up there, my nigga gotta be up there too. I'm not finna settle for nothing. I'm not finna settle for less. None of that. I'm not just gonna settle cause you a nigga. Or cause you cute. Or cause you got some money. Like, no. My standards are high because I, I'm that. I'm her. So my nigga gotta be him. That's just period. I don't know what to tell you. Whatever. I don't like gas station niggas. Like that goes into the fourth reason why I'm single is because these niggas don't be my type. They just don't. These niggas do not be my type. Like these niggas don't know how to dress. These niggas have no goals, no ambition, no plan, nothing, nothing. Like. I can I can't even tell you and it it may just be me or it may just be you know the people I follow I don't know everybody want to be a goddamn rapper 
And I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it because I rap too. But my thing be, that's not my career. That's not, I, I'm not just saying, oh, I'm a rapper and that's it. What, what 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 are you gonna do if that don't work? Like niggas don't have no type of goals, no nothing. I can count on my hands how many times I see an athlete. What happened to the athlete niggas? What happened to the niggas that play ball? What happened to the niggas that play basketball and football? I, I bet I rarely see that anymore. Everybody wanna be a hood nigga. Everybody wanna be in the streets. Everybody wanna be a rapper. Like I just, it's not my. T I, I don't like that. I don't want that. You know, that's just not, that's just not my, no. Now, if you a hood nigga, and you're in school, <laughs> you're in school, you know, you do what you gotta do to make your money, but you not loud mouth about it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't on Instagram counting his mama rent money. He not toting no guns, none of that real quiet, laid back. He do what he do, and keep, if, if I'm his girl, he keep me out of that shit, fine totally fine you in school you doing what you you just doing what you gotta that's totally fine i'm fine with that i like a little hood nigga just not the fake ones let me just say that i don't like the fake hood niggas you know you ain't gotta do all that to be assured that you a gangster or you a thug or all you ain't gotta do all that because these hey, these real niggas gonna test you <laughs> and you're gonna fail f you gotta f <laughs> you're gonna fail Another thing, these niggas don't know how to dress. I cannot, I, if I can't trust you to say, we finna go here, we finna go there, and you cannot get it together with an outfit, how can I trust your judgment? How can I trust you as a person? No, these niggas don't know how to dress. And me, I'ma be honest, I like pretty boys. Not too pretty. You can't, like, don't be prettier than me because you're gay. You're gay. You know, but I like dudes who wear put, well put together. He smell good. His hair is, you know, his his hair be cut. He dress well. Like, oh, I love it. I love it. These niggas don't be that. These niggas that be in my DMs would be gas station. Ga gas station niggas. The niggas that you see. What up, ma? I'm good. Well, fuck you, then, bitch. The niggas that be in my DM, it, I be feeling offended. Like. You had the audacity to think that I was going to mess with you. But you look like that. And I look like this. And you think I'm going to mess with you? I feel played. I feel, I feel in some type of way that you thought that you had a chance. Why y'all be getting your hopes high? Okay. You know, that's how that's the niggas that me and my D. I don't want no gas station niggas. I don't want the hood uh, ratchet faking. I, these just these niggas just don't be my type. And I'm hey, you won't catch me with them niggas. That's just that. Sometimes it don't even be like the way that these niggas look that don't be my type. It be y'all's mindset. Like you really think that's okay like i just can't i can't get with it I, I can't i can't rock with it and that's why i feel like i like a dude every other year because i just can't get with what these niggas be on these niggas don't be what i'm on another reason why i'm single is i'm not chasing no nigga <laughs> these niggas want you to run after them these niggas want you to be on their heels no i'm not doing it i'm not chasing you what the fuck and these niggas want you to be on their heels. I'm not doing that. If you don't want to talk to me, cool. I'm going to give out the same energy that you give to me. If you take hours to text back, I'm going to take hours to text back. Like, and people may be like, oh, that's childish, tip for tat. I'm not doing it to be childish. I'm doing it because that's the energy that you're giving me. I'm never going to give a nigga more than what I'm receiving. And that's just family, friendships, everything. I'm never going to give more than I'm receiving. I've been there. I've done that. It don't feel good. So, no. I'm not going to chase no nigga. I'm not chasing you. If you want to ghost me, I'm not going to question you. About when I see you, I'm be like, oh, hey. What I'm going to be mad for? We ain't got no beef. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I ain't finna do it with you. I ain't about to do none of that. So, no. 
But yeah, I'm not I'm not chasing though. I'm not doing that. First of all, I'm the catch. That's just period. You could be the finest nigga on earth. Like I said, my confidence is up there. I think I'm up there. I don't care who thinks I'm not or who thinks I'm this or who thinks I'm that. And I think this. So, and that was a problem that I had too, you know, and I think a lot of girls can, um, I can't relate when I say this. You know, you start talking to this nigga or you like this nigga and he's, you think he just that. Like, you think he fine as hell. Hey. And he may be, but a lot of the times we think we're not worthy enough to have a dude like that. You know what I'm saying? You think you not on his level, so when he do start get to acting funny, you on his toes. Because you don't want to lose that. You know what I'm saying? No. Just like you think that nigga all that, you're all that too. Period. Guarantee you, when a nigga feel like you know you that, hey. He in trouble. He gonna like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody wanna- I'm not pretty and like- Don't nobody want that. Don't nobody want that. Nobody want that. A nigga want somebody that's assured. She knows she- I'm not- I don't like the cockiness. Don't be cocky. But I think it's very attractive when a- You know, a dude, he- he's assured with himself. You know what I'm saying? He's confident. I love it. I love it. Ooh. I love it. Another reason why I'm single- these niggas just want to get down with you. And a lot of the times, dudes will see that I'm not on that. Like, they just don't be what I'm on. Like I said, they'll see that I'm not on that and they don't want to talk to me no more. Totally fine. But these niggas will do anything. First of all, I, I've never encountered this. But I've heard, a lot, you know, a lot of stories to where a nigga will talk to somebody for months pretending to be something that they're not to get in your pants like to just get some and that is pathetic how do these niggas be talking about they player let me tell you what i think is player what i think is player is you come to me or whoever females or whatever you say this is what it is this is what it ain't i'm here for this if you don't like it you ain't gotta mess with me and they still continue to mess with you that's player i feel like that's player but when you have to lie to get something from from a female and you gotta pretend to be something that you're not and all this extra stuff, you're not player. That's not player. That's not player at all. You're pathetic. You're an imposter. <laughs> That's why when I started talking to a nigga or somebody new or whatever, don't don't tell him what you've been through in your last relationship. Now, down the line, y'all been dating for a, for a good minute. Y'all been on a couple days, whatever. When that time comes, then. But don't jump into, I don't have no boyfriend because my ex did this to me and he did that to me. Because that nigga gonna feel like you put up with that. Hey, if she, if she put up with old dude nonsense... I can do the same, and she gonna be cool. Like, she didn't want you to do it again. No, don't tell these niggas what you've been through. Don't tell these niggas about none of that. I feel like when a dude asks me, what type of man are you looking for? What type of nigga are you looking for? You're giving him the answers. Don't give him the answers. He's gonna be everything that you said for a couple of months. Then he gonna be himself, and you gonna be like, what the f don't tell that nigga what you looking for don't tell him what you want none of that because he gonna pretend to be that for that little while then he gonna be himself mask off he gonna take his mask off and you gonna be like this is not the person these niggas be coughing y'all they be all romantic and this this and that and everything you ever dreamed of da 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 in the beginning that nigga get tired of that and be like, look, I'm finna take this costume off. Cause it's getting hot in here. Under that he be a slob. <laughs> a raccoon. He be a rat. He be a goddamn. <laughs> he be a chicken with a prince with a prince costume on. With a knight in shining armor costume on. Take it off here, chicken. <laughs> a chicken. It is a bit of chicken. It's a bit of chicken under there the whole time. And you be like, you been under there the whole time? That's what's. Okay.
Okay, y'all. I'm playing too much. That was six reasons why I'm single. Now I'm pretty sure it's some, it's some more reasons, but I kind of just did this video off the bat, like random. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And so I didn't really plan it like that. I just wrote down whatever came to my mind. I ain't looking for no no dude, none of that. I do talk to people like, but like if you cute and you, you know you cool. I, I you know I talk to you. I'm not just out here just playing J, like not talking to nobody. You know just. I'll talk to people like I'm not stuck up I'm not none of that I just don't want to force anything and I just these niggas can come to me if I do get into a relationship this year I feel like I will be a better version of myself but will be totally what is needed for that relationship and for just me period I definitely am still learning a lot of stuff I'm only 20 years old I'm only 20 so there's a lot of things that I haven't been through and a lot of things that I'm gonna learn but look I'm finna hot girl slimmer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you guys so much. I get new subscribers every day. Oh my god, this is so good. Because I'm so inconsistent and I hate that. But I promise, I'll get better. This summer is coming up. I'll get better. School just ended for me. I'm done with everything. So, I should have more. But I love you guys so much. And it's been really real. <laughs> With the real engine. Way too late. Watch my drill when I take this sip. Niggas know I ain't playing. I'm from the ice. Excuse my slang. I'm coming down. Know what I'm saying. I really be working. Bought me a burger. I bet if I post it, them bitches don't hate.